Hi guys. Today I'm outside. I have my sunglasses on. I'm going to tell you a story by Margaret Wise Brown. It's about a little fur child. Look, I have a friend to come and listen to a, the story with us. He's a little fur child too. It's called The Little Fur Family by Margaret Wise Brown and the pictures are by Garth Williams. There was a little fur family, warm as toast, smaller than most, and they lived in a little wooden tree. <gasps> Look, there's a little tiny door and little tiny windows. The fur father said good morning one day, put on his hat and went away into his little fur world. I think he's going to work probably has an essential job. Bye! The fur mother bathes her little fur child. He's getting a bath. Does he look like he likes it? Hmm. His mouth's going like this. His eyes are like squinty. I don't know if he likes it. But then he went off to play in the wild wood where they lived. Look, he has a red ball and little boots, and a little coat and hat. You don't have boots and coat and a hat, do you? It's okay, you got fur. Wild flowers grew on the ground, and wild winds blew through the air. Wild nuts fell from wild nut trees, and the wild grass tickled the little fur child's nose, tickled his nose and made him Sneeze. And that sneeze woke up his grandpa, who lived in a hollow stump. And the grandpa came walking out of his hollow stump. Thump, thump, thump. Bless you, my child. Every time you sneeze. The grandpa sneezed. Bless you, said the little fur child. Thank you, said the grandpa. And the old grandpa went thump, 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 back into his hollow stump. And the fur child went on through the woods, and he came to a little river full of fish. The fish did not have any fur and they did not have any feet. They swam around under the water and the fur child watched them for a long time. Then he reached into the river and pulled out a fish. He looked at it and then kerplunk, he threw it back into the water. He reached into the air and grabbed a little bug. And he held it in his hand and looked at it. The bug was shiny. It didn't have any fur. It was shiny and had little tiny wings. Then he slipped, threw it back into the air. Then he caught a tiny little fur animal, the tiniest animal in the world. It had warm, silky fur and a soft little nose. So he kissed it right onto the nose and he put it back into the grass. And the little fur animal ran into a hole in the ground. The sun went down and he heard his mother calling, little fur child, come. So he ran to his mom in the wooden tree. And the mom took him in her arms and gave him supper. Mmm. Then there was his father to put him in bed, and they tucked him in bed all soft and warm. And they held his paw and sang him a song. Sleep, sleep, our little fur child, out of the windiness, out of the wall. 
sleep warm in your fur all night long in your little fur family this is a song maybe it went like that the end did you like that story about a little fur child I like to pretend with things outside I made this little fur creature to play with outside like I can put him I can put him next to the tree and pretend that the tree is his house. Here you go, little fur child. This is your tree house. I hope that you have fun playing outside this summer.